Close to this time last night, many of you started calling our newsroom uh, about feeling the earthquake. That 4.0 quake was in the same area near uh, Scotts Mills as a spring break quake in March of 1993. So is a big one headed our way? Our Lisa Balick is looking into this and joins us from the newsroom. Big question all day long. The quake yesterday got a lot of people wondering if the big one's next and where are other fault zones around here? I found out there are a lot of them. This is breaking news. Did you feel it? It's a 4.0 earthquake hit near Scotts Mill. 911, what's the location of your emergency? A frightening feeling. Well, we just had it sound it felt like a massive earthquake out here. A sway under your feet for a few seconds that feels a lot longer. And our whole house just stood. Do you know what happened? Hundreds of people in Oregon and Washington felt the quake outside Malala. No damage or injuries, unlike the 5.6 quake near the same spot in 1993 that caused more than $25 million in damages. Does the latest shake, though, mean the big one is getting closer? Is this a precursor? No, because it's a different type of system. And, and so these, what's happening in the Pacific Northwest, it is rotating uh, and uh, all the rocks are under pressure and so they are bending, bending, breaking. Byrne says these relatively frequent quakes along the crustal faults release pressure, so less chance of them producing a big quake. But there are at least three fault zones identified in Portland. So we have three major faults in Portland. There's the East Bank Fault. There is the Portland Hills Fault. And then uh, we go up to Sylvan on the other side. You have the Oatfield Faults. Scientists have identified more than a thousand faults in Oregon, but they don't know yet if many are active. And you're likely not on one. And so the chances of you being on a fault, probably it's less than 5%. The bigger worry is a Cascadia subduction zone fault, creating a magnitude 9 or higher earthquake that triggers a tsunami. But Byrne says just because we're seeing a couple of noticeable crust ones doesn't signal the big one is around the corner. That was Scott Burns. I talked with a Portland State University geologist. Now, there are GPS units placed by geologists along many of the local fault zones to keep an eye on that ground movement. Many times, though, there are tremors so small we don't feel them. There have been several smaller ones recorded in Scott's Mills in recent weeks. All right, so the earthquake yesterday actually good because it releases <laughs> that pressure. Yes, so there exactly. won't maybe be as big, big one, one. <laughs> next time. We'll cross our fingers. Thanks for explaining that, Lisa.